What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So I have some last minute Emerald City Comic Con 2021 Funko Pop info for you, as well as Hot Topics new rules on these releases and GameStop not getting the pops. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so I've done a lot of videos on Emerald City Comic Con 2021. I really didn't want to do another one until the actual day of with a Funko Pop hunt and actually reviews of the new pops, but I've had a lot of people messaging me asking me to do another video talking about when everything's going to pop up, even though I've literally, guys, I've done videos on every single like topic, every single topic I could on Emerald City Comic Con. However, this is a new uh, topic. And we're going to be talking about GameStop situation with their re releases come March 4th, as well as Hot Topics current situation with their new rules on releases. And then I'm also going to, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys some last minute tips and info, um, and then everything you need to do the day of one more time, just so it's fresh in everybody's memory and things like that. So let's first start off with Hot Topic limiting all Emerald City Comic Con purchases to two per person. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, the limit used to be five, which was crazy, like five of something. So if they only had like 30 of them and there were seven, that's probably a terrible amount, no. There were six people ahead of you, <laughs> then they're all gone. If all those people in front of you are just, you know, resellers or flippers or whatever you want to call them, they're all gone because they'll buy five of each. Like Bakugo, for example, um, there was a limit of five Bakugos. No, 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 was it five? No, 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 they might have dropped it to two or three. I don't remember. I think for SCC, they might have dropped it for two or three. But anyways, um, like, for example, I had the opportunity to buy two or three Bakugos if I wanted to, but I saw the person behind me wanted one, so I just like, you know what, I'll just get one. One of each exclusive that I'm looking for. I really wanted to, but, you know, I was being a nice guy that day. I was being a nice guy. What, what can I say? I'm a nice guy. I'm kidding. Uh, I was being nice, though. <laughs> but anyways... Uh, I think it's cool that Hot Topic's limiting the, them to two per person. I mean, there's not really that much that I want at Hot Topic, so this doesn't really affect me that much. I think the only ones going to Hot Topic are Chopper, Garbage Pail Kids, the, um, the Caterpillar from uh, Alice in Wonderland, and then the Todd Ingram Soda. That's it. So... I mean, they're not exactly hot, hot exclusive, exclusives, I'd say. Chopper's probably going to be the hottest one, and most people are going to buy two of each of him anyway. Um, now, what I'm hoping is that for Hot Topic, I'm hoping they get all of their stock this time around. Because for SDCC, they had not even half their stock. It was ridiculous. They did not have enough for everybody in line, uh, for Bakugo and Nightwing and all that. Um, it was absolutely nuts. Um, I might be thinking of two different cons, maybe. Let me, I don't have Nightwing. I, oh, no, no, no. Uh, Nightwing was NYCC. Bakugo was SDCC. Uh, what I mean is, for SDCC, they literally did not have all their stock. They started getting in their stock slowly each day. They'd be doing, like, mini restocks. It was SDCC Goku. That's what it was. Um... But yeah, they started restocking kind of like daily of their, you know, stock they were getting in the mail as it came. So it wasn't necessarily restocks as they were just putting out their stock, you know, the rest of the stock that they didn't put out the other day. So I wouldn't call it a restock, more of just a later in stock. I don't know. Um, but I think it's cool that they're limiting the, it to two per person. I think that's good because five is just way too much. Like, it's ridiculous. You limit... Um, you limit other purchases like to three per person. So why con day are they five per person? That's crazy. Um, but I think this is a really good thing. So hopefully they get all their stock and hopefully everybody's able to actually get Chopper if they want it or a few of the other exclusives there. They only have four. Um, but yeah, you know, I think I think it's a good I think it's a good thing for sure. That's really awesome of Hot Topic to do. Finally, they're listening, which was awesome. Um, too bad Neji Ray isn't going to Hot Topic. I really expected her to, and this would have been perfect, you know, for example. But she's going to the Funko Shop, and that's a whole other situation. All right, guys. So moving on to GameStop. GameStop's having some big issues with their exclusives. They're literally not going to be in stores. I don't know how this happens. I don't know why Emerald City Comic Con is such a mess with all its releases and things like that. With Target releasing early, Walmart releasing early with no stickers on their boxes, and, you know, just ridiculousness. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, GameStop's not actually going to even have their exclusives in stores. You can go there Thursday to actually pre-order the items and pick them up later um, in the week once they actually get them in. And then you can also order them online. But you cannot get Morbius or Grimlock uh, mar come March 4th, the, the day of actual Emerald City Comic Con Day. Which is ridiculous because, like I said, Target had their exclusives a month before the con even started. Before we even, 
Like, a month before it started, and even before the reveals even started, that's how we knew Deadpool, Yoda, and um, Flocked, or not Flocked, uh, Diamond Collection Charmander was showing up at Target, and people were already selling them on eBay and things like that. So, it's just kind of like, how do you not have two? You don't have two pops. How does this happen? Like, I don't understand the... Like, what, what is happening with Emerald City Comic Con? It started so well with all the reveals going well, and then everything slowly went to crap with Nejire going to the Funko shop, then putting the skeleton on gold at 4,000 pieces just randomly and changing all the limited numbers last minute. Um, so this sucks, you know? I was actually kind of looking forward to maybe picking up Morbius because I was maybe going to give him a chance in person, see what he looked like. So I'm going to put completely skip over GameStop because I know GameStop's not going to have him. So it's less stress for those who actually want these, but it's also just kind of like we've waited almost a month. Well, not a month, but maybe like two, three weeks almost for all of these um, exclusives now, all for them to not actually be in stores come the day of because GameStop and Funko, I don't know what they're doing. All I know is Target had theirs, like, at least the longest I know is a month in advance, and GameStop doesn't even have theirs. How does this happen? Like, please, GameStop, corporate, the owner of GameStop, please tell me how this happens. So, that's nuts in itself. Uh, so, if you were looking for Morbius and Grimlock, just order them in stores or order them online because you won't be getting them uh, March 4th. So, that kind of sucks. So. Want to update everybody on that just so they don't go to GameStop and be disappointed because, uh, you know, news gets around, but it doesn't get around to everybody. So I want to reach as many people as possible. Um, so, yeah, you know, Hot Topic's doing good things. GameStop's doing crappy things. GameStop sucks. They did this. Um, they literally did this with certain exclusives. Uh, they did it with Beetlejuice, I believe, and Werewolf Bart. I think those were the two that didn't show up in stores yet and then showed up in stores later um for new york comic con so they do this a lot they they just drop the ball on certain releases so does target so does hot topic they all do it like i'm not saying you know game stops at fault here maybe it's funko's fault i have no idea but don't hype up these exclusives all for them to not show up the day of like that's ridiculous man i mean funko needs to get it together um <laughs> but anyways Last minute, uh, just information. I'm going to throw up the Funko um, Virtual Con shared retailers exclusive. So Entertainment Earth is getting Spectre there. Um, Barnes & Noble is getting Wonder Woman. Funko Shop getting all of those, including Nejire and uh, some of the Funko Sodas. Hot Topic getting Chopper and all of these. Um, show Only is the Gummy Bears Ogre. We also have the Deluxe Skeleton on Gold. And then the HR Puffin stuff. Uh, we also have Amazon exclusives, the Deep. Uh, I forget his name, Kenny Powers, is that it? Um, as well as the two-pack for WandaVision, if you're looking for that. Box Lunch is getting Bell and Jackie Chun, which Jackie Chun I'm after and um, Chopper I'm after. So I only need two. That's it. I literally need two. Um, Newberry Comics is getting the, what is that, Matthew Patel, and then Target getting those three exclusives. Walmart getting those two, and Walgreens getting Spider-Man 2099, which is one I also want, but it's going to be really hard to get. So that's pretty much all the shared retail exclusives. Comment down below, what are you guys looking for now? Our last information, I'm going to share this one more time before the actual day of. If you won the lottery, make sure to be checking your emails because Funko is going to send you exactly what to do um, come tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow is the day of the lottery, so that's awesome. Uh, make sure to have your credit card ready, guys, because that is the only thing that's going to be accepted. Not Amazon Pay, not... Uh, Shop Pay, Apple Pay, Google Pay, they'll not be accepted. Get your credit card ready if in case you don't know your details. And um, make sure to check your email for the link and password and things like that, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure you guys already know that. Now, for my non-lottery winners, they will be available March 4th, as I mentioned multiple times in this actual video. And on the Funko Shop, it should be available... Um, for all the, you know, shared retailer and things like that, all the exclusives that are going to go to the public after the lottery winners pick through and get what they want. 6 a.m. PST. I don't know if they're going to strictly follow that. They could not. According to Funko, it should be going on the respective sites and retailers as well at 6 a.m. Uh, PST the same day. We will see. I'm not entirely sure. So as you're waiting in line for these exclusives, you can try yourself. Try on the Funko shop or try on these various websites. But these websites tend to not actually follow these dates, or not dates, but the times. They tend to do whatever they want. So just be wary of that and just keep refreshing the sites or follow your local news pages and things like that. Um, but yes, March 4th, 
literally two days from now making this video. That is when you guys can go in stores and get your exclusives. Make sure to check uh, with your Hot Topics. Ask them what time they're going to open up on the day. Because sometimes con days, Hot Topic, GameStop, and all these stores open up a little bit early. Or they might open up later, you know, depending on what's going on. I've had my Hot Topic open up two hours early before just so they can get all these conic people that are waiting in line out of the way. Get the rush out of the way. Um, I recommend coming like an hour and a half, two hours early, depending on what you're trying to get. Uh, with Hot Topic limiting this, I would, I don't, you know, I don't think you need to get there too early because they should have plenty in theory. Um, and all the other stores, I don't think too many exclusives are super sought after, and not a lot of these are going to have a lot of value behind them. So those value and flippers or resellers, I don't feel like are going to be, you know, in line trying to buy them all up. So I think this is going to be a relatively easy con other than, you know, some of the anime exclusives. But for the most part, I would recommend just bringing yourself something to do, bring a snack and just wait an hour and a half to two hours max early uh, before the actual store opens. Call your local store, see what's going on, see what they're, you know, doing for the actual releases because everything's different. They change things all the time. Uh, this is just from personal experience and uh, don't fight with anybody just have fun with everybody talk to your local collectors and just have a good time at the end of that just have a good time guys enjoy it um, that's what it's here for you know stay safe out there wear your mask all that good stuff um, but hopefully everybody does have a good time and hopefully all this last minute information was helpful to anybody um, if you have any other questions I'll do my best to answer them but I'm pretty sure if you check out all of my other Emerald City Comic Con videos I probably answered this question a billion times or whatever question you're looking for so uh, check out my other Emerald City Comic Con guides and shared retailer list and updates and things like that I made a lot of them Go binge watch them if you're uh, looking for more information. But that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to give you guys a last update. Good luck to everybody who is trying to get what they want. Good luck to all the lottery winners. Good luck to all the people who are trying to get Nedjeri on the Funko shop. Oh my god, I want her so bad. Um, this is going to be nuts. But that's pretty much it. I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and just supporting me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. I also want to tell you guys to make sure to check out the Facebook group. Link down below. It's buy, sell, and trade, and you can make a ton of friends in there. And lastly, be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. That's pretty much it. I love you guys. See you guys next one. See you guys later. Bye.